Hey everyone, hopefully you're having a good day. My name's Andy, my channel's Finding Value. Uh, today, we're gonna go over uh, the February 2022 monthly housing market trends report. Uh, this is what I use on a monthly basis to see how the real estate market is impacting uh, or being impacted or how that demand supply uh, is interacting with each other. Uh, this is integral to the thesis of the channel. Uh, the thesis of the channel is that liquidity comes from a credit expansion phase in real estate. Uh, it's the demographic and its interaction with the real estate market. Uh, if we have a shortage of real estate, uh, the, the new home starts will kick up, new loans go against those new homes, and it's an expansionary inflationary phase that comes. So every time we've had a large inflationary period, we've seen housing starts go up. So I'm making that correlation in a fractional reserve lending system with commercial banks making 60% of their loans against residential real estate. That residential real estate is the driver of the credit expansion and contraction phases. It's a mouthful, I know. So I'd like to look at the monthly housing market trends report that Sabrina puts out uh, to see how everything is interacting with each other. Uh, this is the driver of a lot of things, and there's a long way to go to get back to, quote, normal. Uh, inventories are depleted, and we'll look at that. Uh, we'll see how the trends are doing. Uh, she does an excellent job of graphing these out and, and, and physically representing what the market is doing. So let's take a look at this February 2022 monthly housing market trends report. Uh, so <clears throat> I can put this in the description link below if you guys want to look at the report yourself uh it says the one thing she she highlighted says inventory trends are looking up but the journey back to normal is long so here's the active listing count this is our inventory uh what she has in here is 17 18 19 20 21 and 22 the yellow line way down here at the bottom here is 2022 we are still drawing down our active listing count on a year-over-year -year basis between the yellow line and the green line we are down 24 and a half percent year over year in february of 2022 um housing and the, the housing market is seasonal you can see that the active listing count does have a seasonality to it uh, and we've been drawing it down so we are continuing to draw down inventory uh, even of last month and it is down 24.5% over last year, which was an incredibly low inventory year. So we are at very dire inventory numbers for active listing count. Looking at newly listed homes, uh, that is coming up a little bit. That's normal. Uh, seasonally, you, want, you come on up. It's still below last year, fractionally. Uh, I don't really use this for anything. It's just saying you know, how many newly listed homes are there in terms of new listing count. And it seems pretty stable outside of the year 2020. Uh, homes are selling over a, so we've got uh, days on the market. The days on the market are continuing to go faster. So we have less inventory and the homes are moving even faster. It's down 17 days compared to last year in February. We are at very low levels of only 47 days on the market, minus 17 days. Uh, so. Not only is the active inventory dropping, it's staying in inventory uh, shorter, which means that we are still squeezing this market. The medium listing price, this is the actual price. Uh, we are up 12.9% year over year in 2022. And my estimate that I had given for the year 2022 is, uh, uh, is a, an appreciation rate Somewhere between 10 and 20% is my guess. Will I be right? I don't know, but that's my guess. And right now we're at 13%. That's, a, that's about probably where I think it's going to be. Um, I don't think we'll be at the 20% range, but I think we'll be between 10 and 15. That makes about sense. Uh, but we'll see. I, I, I don't want to make any things. I, between 10 and 20% is kind of where my, my guess is. Now, I want everybody to keep in mind here, we're looking at price. Price is not the driver of the inflation. I'm going to say that again. Price is not the driver. It's the volume of new homes being built. 
That's the driver of inflation. So don't, don't, don't get these two mixed up. The price could remain flat, but your volume of new homes go up still means you're in an inflationary period. So the, the, the price is an indication of your inventory, if that makes sense. Uh, increasing prices will kick on more new home builds. Now, the weird thing is there's a lot of inflation in new home builds. So the price of new home builds are rocketing higher as well, which could put pressure on existing home prices to go to a price level that is higher as the new prices in order to kick on those new homes continues to go higher at, at 20% clips or, or whatnot. Uh, so that's the median listing price there. This is the price reduced share. Uh, I don't really use this very much, but it is declined um, in terms of reduction of prices. But um, I mean, just looking at this is all the kind of the raw data of different metro areas. Uh, median listing price year over year, some of these, some of the hotter ones, like a 19% in Austin, uh, Round Rock, Texas is creeping up there. Charlotte's up there. Columbus, Ohio, Dallas is way up there. Hartford West, Hartford East, Hartford, Connecticut up massively. Wow. Vegas is a hot one. Miami is pretty hot. New York, New York, New York, New York, Jersey City, Orlando, really hot. I'm just kind of looking and seeing um, 31%. Tampa, St. Petersburg. Wow. That's crazy. Well, either way, guys. Uh, that's the updated information. Uh, the real estate market continues to be uh, hot. It is providing support for the thesis. Uh, the housing starts data doesn't really come out till another 10, 15 days. Uh, so that that's when we have, you know, that's when I'll look at that and update that. The last housing starts reading, and I'll pull it up real quick here. I'm just looking at my other monitor here. Uh, we, we are continuing to move up uh, with housing starts. The permits were really high. I think we we're at like 1.9 uh, million. <clears throat> let me uh, let me take a quick look at that housing permits by Fred. Uh, we were at 1.895 million. It is rocketing higher. Um, I do think there's there might be a disconnect between permits and uh, completed houses. But this is your permits. We are definitely in an uptrend um, going on up. And that's the driver, not, not permits, but housing starts and completed housing starts where loans can go against those homes. There is a little bit of a disconnect with the supply chains, um, feeding those new homes with all the components that they need. Uh, so they are getting slowed down. It may slow down the, the rate of inflation from this aspect. Now, some people have asked what percentage of inflation comes from this versus the stimulus. Right now, I think it's more stimulus driven, but I also think that this is adding to the mix also. So you've got two tailwinds or two tailwinds behind uh, our investments, adding inflationary pressures. If the stimulus rolls off, and I don't know how they're going to do that, but if it does, you could see a disinflationary where the inflation rate comes down a little bit to where this supports it. So there's two components in there. How much is of each? It's really difficult to say. Uh, but the most inflationary times were when housing starts ramped up, and you can see in the night, you can see right here by permits that uh, we we had ramped up all the way up to about 2.2, million uh, back in the 1970s. It ramped down, and then we ramped back up all the way to about uh, 1979 when it fell below. But we're ramping up there. We're ramping up to another large inflationary period with the housing starts. So that's good. Um, stimulus money, they may continue to stimulate. They may have to in order to keep rates low. So it'll be an interesting dynamic on what happens. Uh, all the technical charts back the thesis. Everything I shared today backs the thesis. Everything is intact and, and looks good to go. If you guys like the content, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And thank you for listening. This is Finding Value.